Welcome to section three. We're going to be talking about branching in C++. So the learning objectives for this particular section is um, a review of branch structures. There is the if structure, the ternary operator, also known as the conditional operator, and then finally the switch statement. We're also going to be going over different types of branch conditions, and then finally nesting branch structures. All right, so here is an example in C++ of an if statement. There's an opening and closing curly brace. Um, obviously, if the condition is true, whatever's inside the curly brace is going to be executed. C++ also has, or excuse me, these are some of the operators that we use when we're talking about the condition itself. Um, you should be familiar with these. The AND, the OR, and the NOT operators might be different than what you're used to. So the AND, the dual ampersands, the OR is the dual pipes, and then the NOT is the exclamation point. So the IF ELSE. Um, <clears throat> the ELSE is obviously optional because we just saw in the IF structure that it's not necessary. There are the opening and closing braces for each one of the IF and the ELSE structure. And because C++, for the most part, will ignore white space, you can add the else to the closing or to the same line as the closing curly brace. Makes it just a little bit more concise. So you can have the else on a different line, or you can put the else on the same line. Whichever you one you prefer, just please be consistent. Then we also have the else if. So the if, else if, else. Because the else if has an if on it, it requires a condition. Um, the else is always optional, and you can add as many else ifs if as necessary so that you have as many different conditions as you need. This is the ternary operator, also known as the conditional operator, and it's actually a shortcut for the if else or another way to write the if else. So you can see here the classic if else says if the condition. Um, execute statement one, otherwise execute statement two. If the condition is true, then it executes station, um, statement one. So notice in the ternary operator, we have a condition with a question mark followed by statement one, followed by a colon, followed by statement two. So it evaluates the condition. If the condition is true, it sets a variable to statement one. If the condition is not true, it sets the variable to statement two. And so here's an example of, we're gonna say drive is equal to, and then the condition is age less than 15. If that condition is true, if your age is de indeed less than 15, then drive is going to become false, as in no, you cannot drive. Otherwise, drive will become true because yes, you can drive. So that's an, exi an example of the ternary operator, also known as the conditional operator. So how about if we give this a try? We're going to write some code to try this out. 